Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and today is content day. What does that mean? What is content day? So content day for me is when I go to these local businesses that I work with on a monthly basis and I go shoot content for them, whether it be products, headshots, content, you name it. It's all content. All of it. All of it's content. Everything is content. Everything is content. Don't forget to film it. Don't forget to film it. I'm a little excited though because I'm using, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm using, I'm using, yeah. I'm using the Intuition Backgrounds Lay Flat Rollouts. I really, really enjoy using these rollout lay flat design. Canvas, backdrop option, uh, it's, it's amazing. See, the thing about me is I do a lot of weddings and whenever I'm doing weddings, one of the things that I love to shoot the most are the details. <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I have here in the rollout tube, which was provided by Intuition Backgrounds. Thank you, Intuition Backgrounds. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. But yeah, no, it's inside of this tube are some rollouts. I have a few different colors. I have the loose canvas, which was, in my opinion, the best choice because I wanna be able to roll them out and roll them back up when I'm done and just take this tube with me, carry it with me to my job sites since I am mobile. I work a lot on location, so this is why having a tube like this is beneficial for me, so that's why I chose the loose rollouts. All right guys, so we have the tube here and I'm gonna be opening it up so you guys can see which ones I have, which colors I'm gonna be working with, which one we're gonna to pick today for today's content day, and so you guys can see the different type of colors I have. Let's get into it. So sometimes I do pre-select the color that I'm going to be working with depending on the project, the client, or the scope and details of the project. That's much better. I had to lower it down a little bit just to match the height, just so you guys can see the colors and everything once I roll it out. So this is what the tube looks like. Um, I usually roll it out like this. If I'm at a wedding and I haven't chosen the colors yet, I roll it out like this, put some weight on the corners. Um, and this is where myself or my team members will look at the colors and look at our options and see what we have. So we can select one for the details that matches the scope of the project. We have this one. And this one, this is one of my favorites. We have this one. And we have this one. Is this one, which gives me marble, right? It gives me marble. Um, to me, it's a very neutral color, so it works a lot with a lot of my clients. And last but not least, we have this one. Now, depending how you light it, this can look really nice when it's lit very dark and moody. So, yeah. Which one are we gonna use today? Let's find out. So I like this design here, um, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this color. This is the 20 inch by 30 inch, and they're all that size. And it's beneficial because whenever we're working with weddings, um, it gives us the option to put all of our details right in the middle, lay flat everything, and we still have enough space around it to shoot it wide enough to make sure that we get everything. This definitely helps. 20 inches by 30 inches is something that I would like, but I know that Intuition Backgrounds does offer a larger option. I think we're gonna go with the Milky Quartz. I really like that color, and I think it's gonna work for what this establishment has in terms of products. Today's content day, we're working with a skincare line, and we only have three products that they need content of, so we're gonna be working with that, and let's see if it looks good on the Milky Quartz. All right, guys, so we have the product here. It's by Image Skincare. Let's see. I think this looks nice. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this specific backdrop, the Milky Quartz, for this product. Now, I don't necessarily need to capture crazy pictures of this. This isn't product photography. This is simply a few pictures, some content of this and two other products that they carry here against this backdrop 
So that way they can promote it on their social media and their website. I'm not sure, uh, she's not here right now, so I'm not sure I can't ask, but I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing. I don't know if it's a sale, not sure. But yeah, this is essentially the idea, okay? All right, guys, so the people here at the spa wanna go with a natural light or simulate natural light aesthetic. So we're gonna be using our Cheetah Stand Mini, and that's gonna hold up our Pilot Cine Atom Cube RX7. And that's what we're gonna be using for lighting today, along with natural ambient light. I'm going to be using the 50 millimeter and Sony a7R5 today as my lens of choice. The lighting is the Pilot Cine Atom Cube RX7 and that's what's giving us some nice lighting on this side as you can see the shadows building up in the background. I'm also taking advantage of all of the ambient natural lighting that's coming from the windows here to the left. So let's get started. I'm going to be shooting at f 2.2, ISO 400, shutter speed 200. Now. You might ask yourself, why am I shooting at 2.2 instead of, let's just say, for example, 1.8? I can definitely shoot at 1.8. However, if I do that and I focus on this side, this side might be very blurry. And not that I want to see the text here. I don't necessarily need to see it, but I definitely want to see this text. If I shoot at 1.8, and I'll show you guys, I see the image logo, which is in focus, but the vital C is not. But if I focus on the vital C, it might work out. Now, if I shoot at 2.2, everything is now in focus. So guys, although I gave you a little snippet as to how I shoot this stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean this is a BTS video or a how to shoot it video. This is more about intuition backgrounds. It's about the lay flat rollouts that I just showed you. They're amazing, they're easy to use. You roll them back up, you put them in the tube, and you go to your next location, your next project, your next wedding. It's great for wedding details, food photography, product photography, and more. So wedding photographers, content creators, I'm talking to you. There you have it. I'm using Intuition backgrounds. I'm using their backdrops at the studio. I'm using their backdrops in my home studio. They have a huge selection of backdrops, rollouts, and way more. Go check them out, intuitionbackgrounds.com. Everything that you need is in the description below. As always, thanks for watching.